Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, September 13th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. The Olympia tension is so palpable right now that you can almost taste it in the air. And I'm not sure if anyone is hungrier in the classic physique division right now than our old friend Derek Farnsworth. Since he made the jump over to Classic Physique earlier in the season, bodybuilding's pocket Hercules has been on a tear, collecting three straight top four finishes, including a close second back at the Vancouver Pro. This week, Farnsworth released his latest progress photos, just under one week out from hitting the stage for his second career Olympia, and it looks like he's going to be bringing in 160 pounds of pure dynamite to the table. Pound for pound, Farnsworth is as competitive as any athlete that we've ever seen at any level. And if he hits his mark 100%, he has a legitimate shot to close out his year with a top six finish in his debut Classic Physique Olympia. I've got a trivia question for you. Does anyone out there know who the youngest competitor in this year's Olympia will be? Well, if you guess the name Terrence Ruffin, either one of two things just happened. Either A, you're Terrence Ruffin, who we know is a fan of the show, or B, you're a complete bodybuilding nerd. But whatever the case may be, the 22-year-old rookie classic physique star in the making is looking every bit the part of a grizzled veteran these days, and seems to be right on pace to beat the winning look he brought in earlier this year at the Tampa Pro. At his best, rough and small waist and crazy throwback aesthetics can be a handful to deal with, as we've already seen but with a lineup full of competitors who are going to be out-muscling by upwards of 20 to 30 pounds in some cases, it'll be interesting to see how he's able to stack up once the action gets underway in Vegas. For the first time in three years, we won't see species nutrition athlete Fred Biggie Smalls on the Olympia stage. But that doesn't mean one of the hardest working men in bodybuilding still isn't busy doing what he does best. This week, Smalls released some footage from a recent leg training session, giving his fans a little bit of behind-the-scenes access to what his training is like these days. Over the last three to four years, Smalls has been consistently one of the most improved athletes in all of bodybuilding, year in and year out. And if you don't believe it, just go ahead and check his resume. His 18 top 10 finishes dating back to 2013 holds up against anyone. And earlier this season, we saw him bring what was arguably his all-time best into the Arnold Asia, where he wound up taking a close second place. With a few more minor improvements here and there, I think it'll only be a matter of time before we start to see that regular season success begin to reap dividends on the Olympia stage. And by the way, Fred, hope you're feeling better. Less than one week out from making his second straight trip to the Olympia stage, men's physique powerhouse George Brown is looking about as dangerous as we've ever seen him. Over the last two years, Brown has developed into a bona fide star in the men's physique division, and he came within a hair's breadth of winning the Arnold Classic title earlier this season. And that second place finish is the only so-called blemish on his otherwise perfect resume here in 2016. When George Brown is at his best, he's without a doubt one of the top talents in the entire division. And he's one of only a handful of competitors who has a legitimate shot to actually dethrone Jeremy Buendia and become the division's newest king come this weekend. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.